What up, everybody? Supreme Ravnica draft number five. Let's do it. Oh, Crypt Ghast. More like Crypt Ass. That's not like that at all. Why did he say that? I don't know. Dark Creatures all damage this turn gets negative five at negative five. Crypt Ghast seems bananas. B. A N A N A S. If we get a Gristle Brand, can we get a Gristle Brand? Wow, nifty Chris. Oh, uh, nifty did <laughs> Dr. Disrespect is not still a streamer here and likely will never be again. Cash is 22 months of sheer utter enjoyment. Dude, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. This pack is pretty poop. And sometimes I just like to take my time. Mind's Eye Drake dies, target player mills five. What if we just take the mill cards? Is there enough mill in the whole Ravnica block? Hmm. Okay, we're gonna take. We're gonna take Mind Die Drake. And we're gonna take Paranoid Delusions. Oh, shit, Skeletal Vampire. B -b 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 Bananas! Oh, this card is bananas. Sacrifice a bat, make two bats. When it enters the battlefield, make two bats. Oh, Skeletal Vampire is... Bananas! We're taking it. Also, Ogre Savant, pretty pretty amazing. Well, you do a sip of can only pick cards where the card images don't load. No. No. See, when I do sips, despite the fact that people are, you know, supporting me and donating for them... I still want to actually enjoy my time. That's important to me as a as a human being. So, you know, that's kind of what I go for. I think Repeal is trash. I think Ogre Savant is bananas. Is it Boiler Works also good? But I'm gonna take Ogre Ogre Savant. And now we're grueling. Demir Guildgate probably the pick here. I like a Demir Guildgate. This card, this pack's not super. I don't think you can actually go two colors uh, in this format. The reason being, it's just it's just too restrictive. Did I say Grixis? I, did I say Gruel? I meant Grixis. I got, just got the wrong GR. It's because I have ADHD, guys. What do you want from me? I'll take Demir Guildgate. And, oh God. I mean, it could be just be Hellkite Whelp. Hellkite Whelp is good. Oh, you're back. Got him. Mass manipulation, is that good? Oh, is that good? Gate Colossus. How many gates can we get? ADH don't abandon mill. I mean it's not like we're it's not like we're passing mill cards that are being Is mass manipulation good? I don't know, man. But let's say we stick to three colors. Is it good then? You can't get gates? I already have a gate. What are you saying right now? What if we just take two eight drops? I'm going to take Gate Colossus and Mass Manips, and we're going to call this the Ambitious Draft. Prophetic Prism seems bajuicy. Take Prophetic Prism. Orzhov Guildgate's not where we want to be, but... See, that's what I mean. You eventually get a pick like this, where like your cards are Illness in the Ranks... Shadow Slice, Totally Lost, or Frilled Oculus. And then, so we're just taking the Guild Gate, because it, it'll help us fix white if we need to in the future. Another Orzhov Guild Gate, huh? Okay. All right. Eyes everywhere. Uh, Prying Eyes is nice. Just draw four. You discard two, but, I mean... I mean, this guy just lets you scry one. It's a 3-2 flyer for four, which is pretty on... 
on brand. Could just be these two. Could also take this and just discard the red or splash it lightly. Let's take the other guild gate. And I think we can do better with card draw. I'm just going to take the flyer. Oh, I kind of like Murmuring Mystic. Oh, I also like Inescapable Blaze a lot. I just think it's a really strong card. And Watcher in the Mist. I don't think we're a Murmuring Mystic deck. I just don't think we have enough instants or sorceries, nor do I think we can really get them. There's an, also an Izzet Guildgate. I think we're good on five drops right now. That's my... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go out. I'm going to take an Inescapable Blaze and Izzet Guildgate. What do you think about that? Nerds! Assassin Strike. That's pretty good. Slaughter Games. That's pretty bad. Let me just take Frostburn and Weird and Assassin Strike. I mean, bouncing a guy for five, it's just like a bad ogre slot, right? Yeah, I just don't think murmuring, like we have two, three cards that trigger murmuring mystic. I just don't think it's going to be that great with us. I want to take Frostburn Weird as a blocker and Assassin Strike as a remover. Compulsive Research. And Veldakin Dismisser? God, there's so many six drops, though. We're definitely taking Compulsive. Mm -hmm. Do you think it would be possible to pull off a deck in draft? It, pull of a deck in draft this where you take... Meteor Magic Man, that was barely English. <laughs> put this in the wrong place oh boy uh we actually have two orzov guild gates and a prism i think fetters is probably fine i think it's better than another six drop even though i do love dismisser orzov signet is nice so is blind hunter actually so is jelectrode actually so is ogre savant actually jeez i think it's got to be signet Dusk Mantle? What is Dusk Mantle? I don't even think I know what that was. There's so many cards, guys. We're definitely taking Signet. Now it's it's between Ogre Salt and Blind Hunter, I think. I think it's Blind Hunter. I don't think Jelectrode's that great. Um, I mean, again, it's I think it's a fine pinger, but like, I'd rather have like a, a win con like, like Blind Hunter. Hunter. Sunder Shaman. Guardian Project is pretty interesting. I mean, I just don't want to go into the fifth color. We're still just splashing white. I think it might be Blade Juggler. And hope you get like Frostburn Weird and then juggle them blades. And maybe like Sphinx's Insight or Bring to Trial. Actually, Rakdos Trumpeter is pretty decent at triggering like <sighs> yeah, I'll take the bring to trial. I think it's fine. Alright, what do we got here? Cartel Aristocrat. Rapid hybridization. Cloud Griffin. Or Cloud Fin Raptor, rather. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, 
Actually, I do like a Sage's Road Denizen. That's a Guardian. That's not what I picked. Please, someone clip that, because I'm pretty sure I dragged this down here. I feel like basic shit like that just shouldn't happen. Shuffle all cards from your graveyard into your library. Target player mills that many cards. That's interesting. I mean, I know I dragged it, but I'm pretty sure my, my, my cursor was on the Sage's Road Denizen. Annihilating Fire is interesting. Psychic Spiral could be like... Thank you! While I'm watching the clip. Actually, I do like a Sage... <laughs> Mouse is 100% over Sage's Rodenizen. Yeah, all right. Nice to know. Kerwit with the gifted sub to Shroud. Oh man, that's so, so nice. <laughs> oh, wow. Like, do I just file a complaint for that? Like, at what point am I like, okay, this ruined my draft experience. It didn't ruin it, but it made my draft experience less enjoyable. Like, at what point is that a valuable complaint? We're just going to take Street Spasm. That's obviously better than Annihilating Fire. Like, if you guys look at the clip, you guys looked at the clip, right? Like, it's... I, I literally hover over... You can see my mouse coaster over Sage Road Denizen. I drag it. And the, the, the outline of the card being dragged is the Guardian of the Gateless or whatever. Another Compulsive and another Face Fetters. Ooh, that's juicy. Four packs left, though. Let's... Man. I think it's last gasp. It's definitely last gasp. We want some cheap removal. Hmm. Might just be compulsive. Yeah, I think it's compulsive here. Godless Shrine. Oh, emergency powers? Each player shuffles a hand engraver into the library, then draws seven cards, exile emergency powers. If you cast the spell during your main phase, you may put a permanent card before advanced seven on the battlefield. I'm pretty sure hopefully you're a three drop. Ministrant is good, and so is Godless Shrine, actually. This is a good deck. What up, Nicholas? Oh, Kerwit gifted a sub to Bortina. <laughs> sometimes Kerwit's in it. Sometimes Kerwit's in a mood where he's like, I'm going to gift you like a billion subs today and also order you a salad. Emergency powers is fun, but if we're trying to mill them with Sage Road Denison, Psychic Spiral, Paranoid Delusion, or Mindful Drake, like, it's not really on brand. I want Godless Shrine. I want a mana to be good. And I think it's Ministrant over Grasping Throw. Because I'd rather have the cheap card than the other five drop. Oh, Pride of the Clouds. Why can't I have one on color bounce land? Just one. Minister seems sweet. Crew on a white blue bird creature flying. Yeah, that's good. That's very good. I do like Hussar a lot. And we're kind of actually more... We're kind of more Esper now, actually. We're definitely taking Pride. Probably Cortusar as well. Any mill? Mercurial Chemistry seems great. Tap a balloon it to draw two cards or deal damage. This guy seems like a bonkers, right? It seems like a bonkers. 
That's a bonkers. Oh, Kerwin, I don't even know what you got me, man. Can you let me know when it's here? Because they don't usually don't knock, thankfully. Auger sp spree is really good. Um, we might cut the mill cards. <laughs> to be honest with you, I want to take chemister. I want to take auger spree. Overgrown tomb. Boros Guildgate's actually kind of nice here. That was our last pack, too. So if we cut Drake... Drake is still fine as like a 2-5, but it's not super exciting. We can cut Psychic Spiral. Cut Sage's Road Denizen. Paranoid Delusions we can cut. Wow, we, really, we didn't get a single bounce land, unfortunately. We didn't get a bunch of good lands. I definitely think Boros Guildgate. Um, actually, Intervention's pretty good. Yeah, we'll take this. Okay. I mean, this is... I think this is a decent deck. We also have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Guild Gates, which is pretty decent for Colossus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> 1, 2... Uh, sort by colors. Okay. Okay. I'd probably cut bring to trial for now. Okay, well, that was amazing. Yep, and then you... Okay, well, that's fantastic. Okay, we did it. Um, and what else... Ideally, Blade Drizzler comes down in two, but it's kind of it's in our three. You can probably cut Mass Manipulation, right? It seems really ambitious. I don't think Psychic Spirals are good too compulsive. Like compulsive puts two cards in the graveyard, though. So like if we play compulsive, compulsive, Psychic Spiral, they mill five. Like it's really. I think Mass Manip can probably go. It's also not a card I want in my opening hand, you know? Alright, so let's go over here. Properties. God, how do we always end up in these four-color decks? Oh, because it's Ravnica, that's why. Everything is gold, and everything is fixing. We can board in Manips. Okay. Um, so, white, we have one, two, three, four already. Uh, nope. So let's say six off the base. Uh, blue. Actually, black is our most represented color. We have one, two, three, four. So let's say seven. Red is our second most represented with seven. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Blue, we only have five, and we have one, two, three, four. We also have Orzov Signet. Cut one of these. Three, four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, two, three, four, five. Okay. I gotta make egg salad and come back and see that our mill is in the graveyard. Why? Um. Well, it sucks. It's not good. This guy seems great, though. Yep, Mulligan. And we'll 
I'll keep. This hand is very uh, white-black centric. I got a binge watch Umbrella Academy with my buddy. How how rude. Badger or Super Fritz, that is extremely, extremely rude. No, just kidding. Enjoy your Umbrella Academy, buddy. Oh, a hired poisoner. <laughs> I mean, any blue source, we get the research. I'm okay with it. Oh boy, that's pretty good. Oh, no attacks. That's interesting. Oh, baby! Living that dream. Just gonna discard a land here because, well, we have another compulsive that we can play. We'll take four here. Oh, trust me, of all the people in Magic, I am definitely not whitelisted. <laughs> Oh boy, if you take that, don't take my compulsive research. Oh boy. Street spasm. Fascinating. The never ending, the no. I mean, we're definitely just doing this again. Come on. Two lands, three lands, all of the lands. Living the dream. Give me a land. Break me off a piece of that landy boy. Draw another card. Ancient Stirrings. Have a good afternoon, buddy. Break me off a piece of that nickel bulb. Dip, 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 dip. That was just a bunch of nonsense that he said. None of even made any sense. I mean, we can kill one of their dudes. They have missed quite a few land drops. One, two, three, four, five. We can just play Skeletal Vampire here. That's pretty decent. We do move a lot of digital cardboard. One, two, three, four, five. Just kind of want to get rid of that guy because we have. I kind of just want to stable the board a little bit. Like if we play any of our creatures, they could very likely get rid of it and then attack for four again, which puts us to eight. Yeah, that tear's been there for all day.
What, they play another Signet? Sure. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we could play Fat Boy. They have four cards, we have three cards, we have Sending Field of the Land. Let's scry one, put that on the bottom. Don't want that at all. Fat boy! <laughs> Coming through! I mean, our hand is mono flyers. I'm just gonna take two here. I value my Senate Griffin more than their hired poisoner. Blade juggler. They tapped incorrectly. Everything's there. We go. We're doing it. Oh wow. Well, they don't have a battalion, but I still don't want to sit here holding this. So. Gonna take a lot of love. Oh, Blind Hunter is beautiful. Beautiful baby Blind Hunter. That was fortunate. I agree with you. I kind of like just getting bat down. We can bat, we can block, bat and block. You guys know the old bat and block? And then we haunt this guy, right? So. Bat and Block is the name of my new indie game. It's it's very similar to Rocket League, I bet. God, he loves that Rocket League. Oh, we just we just win the game. Oh boy. Well, you know what they say. I gotta blow my nose. Is that weird? No, guys, blowing people blowing your nose is not weird. Okay, don't shame people for blowing their nose. Just hold on. <sighs> Can you imagine if I just blew my nose and I didn't turn the camera on the, the microphone off? That'd be so, so grotesque, right? Okay, we're back. Sweet do-nothing hand. Look at this blue source. Shit, there was a blue card. I think his hand's still great. Any blue or red, and we're going to... Going to town. Curry, did that Sally get here? I actually have no idea, because they usually just drop it off and leave. Which I enjoy. I don't want them to ring the doorbell or anything, because the dogs... I think there's a big difference between a single burp that is involuntary and quick and also eating and blowing your nose. Like, blowing your nose is loud and and usually... Oh, fuck. Well, that was a pretty good draw. Oh, dear. Well, it doesn't... Oh, it has Menace. I see. Menace. Yes, okay, I, I see now. Menace. That's, uh... That's Menace. Okay. Snap it off. This is... This hand is... But this will kill anything they try to throw at me. Damn. 
Thank you. Oh, a little scoochy with the resub. Appreciate it. Welcome back. Oh, one one full year. Kerbert left before before he was able to tell me that my food was here, so now it's just gonna sit out there. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so if they don't get that nonsense, their deck just doesn't do anything. Now we get to play Corhusar, draw a card, hit a land. Ogre Savant, our next dude. White, blue, blue. Cordy boy. White, blue, blue. Done. Oh, uh, what? No, I want both of these. I'm going to take the mountain. It guarantees us being able to play Ogre Savant and Hellkite Whelp and all that bullshit, so. This round one. Wow. Well, that's rude. Okay, looks like we got to draw it anyway. I guess we'll just play the Welpy Boy. Actually, we probably should have played Black because you know we have. Um, get in there. Get in there, Cordy Boy. Yeah, I do kind of like Ogre Savant on the Court Hussar. That's actually not bad. Well, now I'm probably bouncing that. No. I'm definitely bouncing the other one. Make sure you play with Gala Shrine. Ill gotten gains. What is this deck? It just said pay costs. So we know they have a spell in hand. Oh, Assassin Strike, and they discard one of their cards. One, two, three. But I kind of like playing Kortusar here. So one, two, three, and then we can kill this guy for two. Oh, Inescapable Blaze just kills them, right? Like they're taking three, four, five this turn. Yeah, we're definitely taking Blaze. So they go to nine. They go to 10. They kind of have to activate this. Sure. Uh, 
Sorry. So are you dead? You have no cards in hand. You block here, you take three, go to seven. Dang, you go to one? That's unfortunate. Hmm. That was a surprisingly good draw. really sad oh auger spree oh man talk about your bad timing should have done that first I mean, they kind of have to crack this now. They don't know that they have to crack it now, though. Four, five, six. Oh, wow. If they let the damage go through, they're dead. Oh, this is great. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just going to pass. They're going to crack at the end of turn. They didn't crack. What? Oh, they drew a land. So they go to 10, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then Blind Hunter kills them. So they're basically dead here, right? Yeah, this is just lethal. I also think I heard that salad, so this is perfect timing. Crack your ill-gotten inheritance. They have nothing else to do, so they're definitely going to crack this. Yep. So you go to four. Blind hunter, you brah. Got him. All right. So we're recording again. In true Kerwood fashion, there is, of course. A Rice Krispie Treat. He got pasta salad. And some sort of other salad. That looks pretty good. The green screen is probably going to do a number on this guy, but you can actually see the green pretty well, surprisingly. Okay, I'm going to just try this pasta salad for now while we're streaming, and I'll jump in a match so we can, and Hunter's chewing on something in the background, because of course he is. Oh, not bad. Oh. Mm. Oh. Hunter has not had any more accents since the other day. We've been a little more vigilant about making sure he goes out when he needs to, but Well, I mean, we'll see. Like he's had, he's had this issue for this year. It has, it's never been an issue before this year. But I'm 
All right. Eh, hey, dude. Oh, yeah, this hand is good. I'll keep it. All we need is a blue source. Shoot. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, got the double guild gates. A blue source would be great, because then we can go Pride of the Clouds just as a 1-1. One, one. Blade Juggler. Oh, we did not have cut. We did not have cut. <laughs> we did not have cut. We didn't cut Gate Colossus. We still got a Gate Colossus. We just don't like drawing him. Well, that's rude. You're being rude right now. Discard a card. I'll take a bend do do. I actually get a Galda Shrine. I think Guildgate does a very similar thing here. Plus, like this lets us play research. I want to keep the Guildgate in case we just get a Gate Colossus. It's gonna be right here in the top three. Um. Definitely gonna be a land here. Probably not attacking. I don't think this is a good trade. We can also just wait until we get Hellkite Wealth. Oh, or not. See you later. I like it. Pasta salad is real good. I have yet to have a spell countered in this format, so. Creatures dying, on the other hand, that's pretty common. Like that, yeah. I think this is probably fine. I mean, we're taking another two, but we got face fetters. It's just a much better use of mana. How could you be so heartless? And they got a discard. Wild. Two extort cards in their deck with only one white source. Fascinating. Oh god. <laughs> That's pretty good. Well. Thank you.
Shove Jr. Thank you so much for the resub. Jazz One. Thank you for the resub, guys. Really appreciate it. So they have three cards. We have four cards. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, we can. I'll take six here. Yep. Blind Hunter. Pretty good. The dessert thing was a Rice Krispie square. The description was the big crunch. Yeah, it was just like literally a solid Rice Krispie treat. Um, Let's play that first to see what we hit. Land. Okay. Main phase, huh? Hmm. Well, Bottom, land, three, four, five, eleven. That's lethal if they don't have anything here. It's not lethal now. But it's not not lethal, so. Okay, all right. Oh, I like that. So we take three, four, we go to two. They don't have red, so. God, inescapable lazy gonna win us another game, isn't it? Prying eyes are watching you and in your every move, baby. Got him. It's inescapable, bro. Paying four to kill my own weird. Josh, I'm just going to win the game. They had the Indrix Stomp Howler. I think that's the only one that we really care that was like three turns back. <laughs> oh. Oh. Dude, pasta salad is so good. We just put a bunch of banging flavorful ingredients together. Curl, what kind of dressing you got in here? Um, you know what? I'll keep it. Shoot. I'll pretty much keep any hand with a compulsive research, especially when they mold a six.
considering Ravnica is one of my all-time favorite sets and blocks and planes, uh, these Supreme Drafts have been, f like, fantastic. I also have Cortusar next turn. That's pretty nice, too. What the hell is this thing? 2-4? Just that's it. There's a 2-4. All right, now we're just going to play Cortusar and save ourselves some damage. We have so much card advantage right now. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I kind of like Ogre Simon for the tempo more than I like Street Spasm. Walls of houses are bearing down on me. If you control two or more gates. Yeah, I'll take the Savant. I think it's way more relevant in the in the short term than, it, than Street Spasm would be. I don't remember some sort of vinaigrette. <laughs> I'm going to take a bite. I don't want to eat too much because I'm going to make dinner soon. But this will definitely be my lunch tomorrow, buddy. And I appreciate you. Oh, God, I can't even get it open. Oh, they pilloried my guy. I see. Ogre Savant looking better and better. I mean, actually, Senate Griffin's pretty, pretty decent, pretty decent here. I literally can't get it open, guys. It's gonna end up like this is one of those moments where like salad goes everywhere. Okay, we did it. That's not bad. Definitely tasting some grapes and some blue cheese. Mmm. That's not pretty good. I think. I don't even know. I definitely want lands. Yeah, I'll keep it. Because we can still play Blind Hunter into land next turn. Gorgonzola is basically just blue cheese, right? And this guy is a six mana now? Magic Online, of course, doesn't tell you that, like Arena does, which is super, super nice. I mean, I feel like we win the long game. They have three cards. You're going to kill this in response? Cool. <laughs> Seems fine. Any land lets us play Gate Colossus. <laughs> that comically also does let us play Gate Colossus. No, it's a godless shrine. No, I guess we're just gonna play the other dude. I thought I thought I had three gates and said, nah, "That's unfortunate." Next turn, guys. Next turn. Oh, mountain is nice. I mean, if you have no class, sure. Wow. Oh, look at that main face. What are you about saying? One of these two. So you have swamp in hand, swamp, and three other cards. Take two. Take one more. Face fetters coming up. His thoughts and this strain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, but blue is our bottleneck. It's kind of rough. Like, I just can't keep taking damage from these two, you know? One, two, three, four, five. And now we're just going to keep our guys back. 
We're not winning this race. That's really good. They didn't attack there? Say what? That's pretty wild. One, two, three, four, five, six. That card's very insanely good. Consult the Necro Sausages to draw two. You got it. You got it. You got it. That's not super impressive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can play Kortusar and Hellkite Whelp or the other one. I think we're playing Kortusar here because I want to be able to find something. And it's going to let us look at the same number of cards. None of these were any good. Mm -hmm. I mean, this guy just kills them next turn, right? <laughs> Two. Sure. Red. So if they block here, they take nine. Yeah, we're just going to attack for seven. No, I think we have to be a little more forward than that. Ethereal Absolution is fucking insane. Like that's a that's a bonkers card in limited. That's very good. For sure. Two, three, four, five, six. I mean, this means they have to... This is lethal, so, like, they have to make a guy and just block with that guy. They can attack us for three, but then they have no cards in hand. Okay, so they're playing... That doesn't do anything. So now they just have to chump block? So they take seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then again they're dead to, to blaze? 
Oh wow, that's insane. Yep. I mean, I can't imagine what they draw here that deals us seven, but I can haunt one of my guys, I guess. They're at one. So I'm pretty sure we just win this game. I mean, Inescapable Blaze has won us countless games in this format. Six damage is just like 33% of your life total. Sure. I mean, it's funny because, it, it, like, their ethereal absolution is negating two of our, two of our, uh, our bomb rares. Yeah, discard pride. Upkeep, I'll kill you. Actually, it's 30%. It is actually exactly 30%. <laughs> I don't know why I said 33. Oh, snap, keep this. <laughs> God. 2 1 that makes 2 1 1s. Um, yeah, we'll just play this anyway. Two compulsives and an ogre savant? Sure. I too often discard my pride. Oh, fuck. Well, that's. That's less than ideal. Oh, boy. And that's how. Despite how good of your hand is, how good of your hand is, that's not English, but you get it. Despite how good your hand is, Pack Rat is still better. If you don't open Detention Sphere. Never thought I'd get to pack rat you out of a game. Wow. Well, you know what they say. I mean, we can compulsive try to hit our street savvy. Yep. <laughs> yep, pack rat's a hell of a drug. Well, there it was, but we weren't going to be able to do that anytime soon. Yeah. Turn two pack rat. Fair and balanced magic, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> this hand is good, not on the play. Yeah, this is better. It's sad because none of these hands are nearly as good as our first hand, but, you know, pack rat, so that's cool. No, oh, I like that. That's very good. That was a solid turn, too. Huh. Definitely a land. Probably a guild gate here. Because this lets us play a card, so... What does this shitty do? 3 2 for. Yeah, sure. Oh, 
This guy regenerates for six mana? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why? Oh, God. What in the hell? Why? They're like, let's make him regenerate, but make it cost six. We don't have a six drop, so I'm just going to play Mountain here because it lets us queue up Augur Spree. Okay. Blind Hunter is good. Oh, I love it. I'll take two. You know it's really good against 1-1 one, one bats? Hellkite Whelp. This is only upkeep, right? Only during your upkeep. Sure. Might be worth it. Just make one ones. <clears throat> Seal of fire in the sky. Wow, this is... A heck of a turn. Yep. Fire in the sky. It's very tempting to just make one ones. I think we're in a position where like this is actually relatively strong. One, two, three, four. It's like a it's like a white blue pack rat. Wow, can't block, huh? All right, you got it. The birds have arrived. So next turn we can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can actually activate and then still play like face fetters or intervention. One, two, six, seven, eight. That's pretty good. That'll do. Welp. You rise up on that big crispy? No, not yet. It's still here. I thought it was big crunch. Okay. <laughs> sure. This actually puts us in a decent position here. One, two, 
two, three, four, five, six. We take one, two, three, four. If we block here, we take four. One, two, three, four, one, two. And then we still get to draw. So we get to play this and another guy. Street Spasm. Yep, I'm just going to scoop here. All right, thank you guys for watching. 2-1 again. Not terrible. I don't hate it. I feel like we got kind of wrecked by Pack Rats plus uh, some kind of not great card. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frankleboardmanistrators.com, coolstuffinc.com, and patreon.com slash frankleboard. Great ways to support the channel, all of them, for uh, as little as a dollar a month. And be sure to use the promo code and link down below for mandatraders.com. You'll get 20% off the first three months of any subscription. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for